Hey, Donnie, you thirsty? Oh, yeah. Well, get on down to Lucci's Grandview, 6929 39th Avenue. Grab yourself a cold drink and some good conversation. This family-owned bar will serve you up some great memories. Follow them on Facebook for their great upcoming specials and events. That's Lucci's Grandview, 6929 39th Avenue. Whether you're in the market for a new home or just want to sell the one you have, contact Shannon Franklin of REMAX Newport Elite for all your real estate needs. Shannon will deliver outstanding and honest service to get you what you're looking for for the right price. Shannon knows Kenosha is excited to help you on your real estate journey. Give her a call at 262-960-5182 or click that link in our show notes to learn more. And tell her K-Town Connect sent you. Get ready for this episode of the Kate Town Connects podcast because we're going to kill it, get it, as we welcome Brenda and Becky of Alpaca Art. Cue that music. Yeah, give me a public craft beer. Yeah. Welcome to the Cake Town Connects podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Donnie, and I'm here with the handsome Jason Edmund. You can't supposed to get my last name. Ooh. Now they're going to track me down. Yeah, they're going to find you. They never knew my last name until now. I know. This is the first time. First time. Oh, yeah, it yeah. is out there. You are an artist. You have your stuff out there. Uh, well, I'm excited for this episode. Yeah, huh? me too, man. It's we been got, great. Yeah, we got some lovely ladies in here. They're going to uh, be chatting it up. Yeah, we're going to get dirty with the clay. Yeah, I like that. Ooh, dirty with the clay. I like that. Hmm. All right. Well, where are we at here today, Jason? Well, Donnie, we're recording at Luigi's Pizza Kitchen, as always. They're located at 7531 39th Avenue. They're open Tuesdays through Sundays. Their dining room is open now again. Mm, great. You can give them a call at 694-6565. See their full menu and order online at luigispizzakenosha.com. And don't forget what we always say. Order those pizza pies. That's right, Donnie. Special thanks to Dropping Daisies for that great theme song. I love that theme song. What did you guys think? A real yeah, rocker, yeah, huh? Yeah. It was so loud, I had to take my headphones off for a second. I know, you were blown away. I just thank you, Dropping Daisies, for that. Great local band. Yeah, they. I mean, we're all about local here on the K-Town Connects podcast. Yeah. And they did this exclusive song just for us. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. It's going to win a Grammy one of these years. Grammy for what? For greatest song of all time ever. Off a podcast. <laughs> yes, a local greatest po- pod- a local Greatest pod- Kenosha podcast theme. Theme song, yes. Hmm, okay. <laughs> uh, what's brewing in here, buddy? Oh, we're drinking some great beers from Public Craft Brewing. They're located in downtown Kenosha at 628 58th Street. Find their full menu at publiccraftbrewing.com. Yeah, we're drinking this Amber Sunrise Amber Ale. Yeah. It is scrumptious. Yeah, it's not too bad. Mm. The girls are drinking the uh, Scare Caramel Apple. Is that what it's called? Scaramel Apple Sour? Scaramel Apple. Mm. Yeah, yeah. How do you think of that? <laughs> it's really good. Yeah, yeah, really yeah. Good. yeah. They do a good job making this beer down Some great at beers Public down Craft. At public. But they also have great food and a great atmosphere as well. So yeah. get on down to 628 58th Street. That's right. Yeah. All right. Well, welcome, Brenda and Becky. Right, Thank you for coming on us. the Kate Talk Connects podcast. I told Donnie he has a clip. You can't be making like twin references all day. Right. I'm sure you two have, are sick to death of hearing it. Yeah, I'm sure, right? <laughs> I'll only make one Let's when you mind. least expect it. So it has to be, a, I better make it good. Yeah, I, I will. I, it'll come to me during the show. All right, all right. I didn't Google twin jokes before the show, so. Because <laughs> if you don't know, you can't see us at home. There are twin sisters. Yes, yes. And they are local business owners of Alpaca Art, located at 4326 7th Avenue. Find them online at alpacapottery.com and paint at alpacapottery.com. Email, mm-hmm. Facebook, and Facebook Instagram. Facebook and Instagram. Well, yeah, you guys are everywhere. But before we get... To, we'll get into what they're doing yeah, a little later. Well, let's, let's get to know you guys. Yeah. So, born and raised in Kenosha? Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. What side of town? Near Roosevelt. Oh, near Roosevelt. Yes. Middle... Middle of town. Yeah, right there, not north side, now south side, middle of town. Mm-hmm. Hmm. 
What was it like growing up in the middle of town? Because where you, what side you town you from? Middle of town. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed it. I don't know. Like yeah, up there. it was fun. Where'd you guys end up going to school? Elementary school. Roosevelt. Ah, good old Roosevelt School. Yeah. So, do you guys have? Since you guys are twins, do you have any other siblings? You... We have an older sister oh. and a younger brother. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, what was it like growing up in a household of four or two other siblings? It got busy. Yeah. <laughs> One bathroom for a long time. Ooh, that's so, always the yeah. worst. <laughs> yeah, it worked out. <laughs> it had to, right? Yeah. All right, so you, you you're going to Roosevelt School. You guys are same age, obviously, right? Really? <laughs> Is that the joke? <laughs> yeah, there, there was. There's your yeah. one. <laughs> uh, so, what was school like for you guys? You're obviously, probably in the same class. Never. Nope. They oh, kept what? us apart. Yeah. Really? In middle school, yeah. we had a few, and then high school, but in elementary, it was separate. Oh, yeah. so that must have been kind of nice, right? Because you see each other at home all the time. You don't yeah. see each other at school. I was kind of shy, so I probably would have liked being in her class. <laughs> <laughs> Did your girls have any interest in art when you were younger? Yeah, always. Yeah, always. We always yeah. enjoyed it. What kind of stuff did you do? Just um, anything well, special? Or My dad used to cut out wood cutouts for um, Christmas and Halloween, and we'd oh. paint those in the basement. Oh, oh cool. Mm-hmm. And other things. Like, yeah. yeah, neat. And your dad was a musician as well? He still is yeah. a musician? he's a musician, yeah. So would, was he playing when you guys were growing up as well? Yeah, he was always playing. He, he used to practice in the basement sometimes with the band. Oh, so. what, what was the band? The Boppers is the one that I remember the earliest. Mm-hmm. And then the Wind Walker. Yeah. Or Wind Watchers? Wind Watchers, okay. yeah, is one of them. Oh, did you guys like his music? Oh, yeah. Did you ever yeah. go see him play we out anywhere? To it? Oh, yeah. Well, like, where at? Kohorama. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Kohorama. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the church festivals, <laughs> yeah. which yeah, he church. still plays at. <laughs> oh, nice. I'll be on the lookout for him. Yeah. Hmm. Have you guys ever wanted to get into music then, or...? I, I enjoy playing it, but it's always at home with the kids. <laughs> oh, yeah. What do you play, guitar? Mostly now the guitar, yeah. She yeah. also does the banjo and a little accordion. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> wow. Not, not all that well, but I can... What made you want to pick up all the musical instruments? Just insp- inspiration from your dad? Uh, kind of, and then like... I, there came a point in my life when I didn't know what to do with myself, and there was a banjo sitting there. So <laughs> yeah, you're, kinda, you're surrounded by it. So yeah, like, and I, a book about music theory, so I'm like, okay. Yeah, <laughs> this is my calling. Yes. <laughs> There's nothing on TV. Let's pick this up and see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so learned how to do that. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. So uh, high school, where'd you go? Tremper. Yep, Tremper. 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 What was your first job? I was at Hungry Head. Oh, right that was your first. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. Hungry Head. That was, yeah. that was for the Patreon people. People didn't hear that, so. Oh, that's the bonus yes, material. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Hungry Head, right. Good old Hungry Head. Yep. How old were years. you then? 16? Uh, fifth, so. I was 16, 17, and then part of 18. Then I okay, cool. Hmm. So. What about you? I worked at Arby's when I was 15. Oh, I think that's how I. Is that, well, I'm trying to remember when I first met you guys when I was young. I feel like it was more like 17 or. Yeah, because I think. I was 20, I think, 2021. We go way back. We go way back. Mm, okay. <laughs> Which we don't really want to talk about those days, but uh, we, we've known each other for a long time. Yeah. So what was Donnie like back then? Oh, God damn <laughs> I didn't know you too well. You were with yeah, cause a I was friend dating, of ours. Yeah, because I was dating uh, uh, Valerie at the time, yeah. within 20-some years ago, 25 years ago. Yeah. yeah, They were in the same circle. And yeah. Okay. Came along. Yeah. Smoked a lot of weed together, though. <laughs> <laughs> I want to cut that out now. That's <laughs> yeah, the past, right? Yeah, it's all in the past. Yeah. All right, so you guys are going to Tremper. Um, and do you see each other all the time at Tremper, or is it you, still different classes? Yeah, I guess we did. We shared a locker, or were we right next to I think each we were other? right next to each other. Always for the lockers. It was interesting, though, because she kind of was in the sports and everything. Mm-hmm. I was into other things. Ah. <laughs> but what we were just weed. talking about, yeah. <laughs> 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 but, uh, but also, art was huge for me in high school. Mm-hmm. My art teacher, I felt like she was kind of like a a savior for me because she gave me something. And who was that? Confidence. Mrs. Wells, Nancy okay. Wells. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I still see her because she comes into the shop oh, once in a while. Very nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. What was your favorite medium in high school? I guess painting. Painting, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and and 
Also, um, colored pencils is fun. Okay. It's just time consuming. Yeah, true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like um, using just a regular pencil to shade to. There's oh. an art to that, and there's something really fun about it. Yeah. Cool. So. so, Becky, when you were in high school, what did you want to be when you grew up? I never knew. <laughs> I still don't know. <laughs> <laughs> just going with the flow. <laughs> How about you, Brenda? I was wanting to be an interior designer. Oh. And I went to school for it. I gave away afterward. Yep. Okay, after high school, you went straight to college? Mm-hmm. Okay. Over at Gateway? At Gateway, yes. Yeah, how'd that go? It was good, and that's where I did the business plan for Alpaca Art. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so I never did interior design. <laughs> Do you still have that itch where you want to give it a try? or? Not really. Um, hmm. Not really, no. Mm-hmm. No, you gave up on that dream, huh? I wouldn't call it give up. I just don't found have the interest in yes, it. Yes, there you go. You found other things. <laughs> found other things, you. yeah. So, Becky, while your sister's in college, what are you up to doing? Uh, I was working at Abbott Laboratories oh, in Illinois, okay. and then they they opened Hospira in Pleasant Prairie, and I went there okay. for, in, just in a warehouse. And then and then she's like, called me one day, like, I got this idea for a business. Ooh. <laughs> oh, boy. That's kind of where that happened. Okay, well, we'll get to that pretty soon. But. <laughs> yeah. All right. 21st birthday, what'd you girls do? Did you go out together? Uh, probably. Yeah, I probably. Remember. I can't hardly remember either, but I think we probably with, with my, my dad. dad. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back a few years. Did you guys go to prom? Nope. No? No. I didn't, no. I didn't, I didn't have any interest. No. Either. I don't know why. Hmm. <laughs> Nothing against it. I just never, you never hated prom, huh? It's because there's too many guys just asking you things. both, and you're like, oh, sorry, I'm just not going to go. <laughs> <laughs> so then you're you're going to Gateway, you're working, and then you're, you're both in the art, you're in the music, and then all of a sudden, you call up your sister? It's, I have this crazy idea. So I'm not sure when exactly you're talking about, but there was one day I remember when we were like 18, mm-hmm. and I had... I saw um, an episode of one of those wedding shows mm-hmm. where they're doing a wedding, and they went to a floral shop, and these twins were there with this floral shop, and I was like, I felt the need to have a shop, <laughs> and so I just told Becky, I think we should have a business someday, so I don't know if that's what you're talking about. No, because I remember okay. we thought we'd be retired when we talked about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 It was like, old ladies kind of thing? Yeah. Yeah. What, what I'm talking about is... We were 23, and so this was like mm. January, and she had done her project uh, for interior design, and then her husband saw the project and said, you should open it. Him and, and her, his family were just like, just do it. said it, and then that's oh. when she called me, and then like by May, we were open. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it was a quick move in yeah, thing. Yeah, so we just so jumped into it. Just to clarify, you girls didn't work together anywhere else before that? No. No, just, we no. both had good jobs, by the way, with <laughs> insurance and everything. <laughs> we're everything everything you possibly could want. We're going to do it. And then, <laughs> all the benefits. Yeah. Yeah, all the gave benefits. All that, gave all that up. Yep. Yeah. So how old were you when you first started this venture? We had just turned 23. Yeah. Okay. Wow, very young. Yeah. Our and, golden birthday. And you were, <laughs> yeah. were you, you were married already? Or? I was married, yeah. I got what, married the year before. What about you? I was... I was free. Oh, okay. right. Pretty newly free. Okay. <laughs> so, finding other interests. <laughs> so, Brenda comes up to you, Brecky, with this idea. What are your first thoughts when she tells you that this idea? I just said, okay. I just went along with it. Like, her husband's the one who went into debt for it and everything. So I just kind of <laughs> I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll help you out. It's your money. So. <laughs> oh, I like that. <laughs> it's, it's been like a good team effort though everybody's oh, playing yeah. their role in it the whole time so. okay now this is actually your third location is that right right yeah. so your first time you opened up out in salem i heard yes mm-hmm. okay what was you girls grew up in kenosha here what made you want to move out there to open a business we thought the demographics out there would be good there's like a, there's the biggest school because it's like elementary and middle school together so it's right on the corner where we were okay and we knew that the like the businesses are growing out that way, mm-hmm. and but it was a, it turned out to be a good learning experience because it wasn't as busy, but we didn't so we know got what to we were learn. doing anyways. So yeah, it worked so out kind well. of started a little slow, and, and we yeah. actually looked downtown, and it was just for the square footage. It was they were asking too much, mm, than, yeah. more than we wanted to pay, so we just started out there. It ended up being a good. Because what was the year that you started out there? Two thousand seven. Seven. 
You guys been at it for a nice long yeah. run. That's awesome. That's great. That's awesome. So Salem, huh? Ugh. It was a nice drive out that way, and we saw bugs and toads that we wouldn't have seen. <laughs> wow, <okay. laughs> but, but like you said, that's a good learning experience. You're just kind of getting started. Yeah. See what you're doing. So was your format pretty much the same when you first started <laughs> as it is today, or what, did you do something different then? Was it? We've added m- much more group events. Okay. And things. Mm-hmm. We used to do just walk-ins and birthday parties, and now we have um, field trips and like recplex and um, okay. team building things. But it was the same kind of thing, though. You like same your kind own of pottery thing. kind of thing. Yeah. And- but also like kits now, where people can take the supplies with them cool. instead of just coming in. Yeah. Okay. Um, one more interesting thing is when we went out there, Jose, the guy that we rented from, was an was a business coach. So he he got us into business coaching, and a lot of the stuff we learned from that we've used the whole time. Wow. Which if we hadn't gone out there first, right. we would never have got. Yeah. We would not so have made it. See, yeah. it was all meant to be. It, it was. really was. That, oh, that's good. Yep, the universe aligns when it, when you work hard. Yep. You know? yeah. Just when you call your sister up, hey, let's do this business. Let's go. Jump in blindly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. yeah. All right. Well, I think we'll take our first break. We'll be right back. We'll find out exactly what they do over there at Alpac Art and how you can get involved and even more fun stuff with Becky and Brenda. Don't touch that dial. We'll be back. Frank Steiner, 508 58th Street, has been a Kenosha icon since 1926. This classic establishment offers up sassy service with scrumptious breakfasts and lunches. Try their signature garbage plate or check out and see what their specials are today. You mean Kevin? He's special. Yes, he is. And so is the food. Stop in at Frank's, open seven days a week in downtown Kenosha. Aaron Hunziger of AH Did It is a local industrial artist who specializes in lighting creations, custom furniture, and much more. Each piece he creates is a one of a kind, guaranteed to never be duplicated, and is handcrafted with extensive care and imagination. Wow, no project is too big or too small. For more, find Aaron on social media under AH Did It. All one word. And we're back from that break. We are back from that break. That and was a great break. It really was. One of the greatest breaks we've ever taken. It was an amazing break. Yeah, it really was. We were on break for two hours. Now we're back. We're <laughs> slammered. I was going to say, that's bad where we're, we're, we're drunk. <laughs> from these good old public beers we were yeah, slamming down. I love public craft beer, really. Oh, it's so, so delicious. Yeah. Well, we're here with Brenda and Becky from Alpaca Art. They're located in downtown Kenosha, Harborside, downtown Kenosha, pretty much. Um, you can find them at 4326 7th Avenue. That's right. Go on in there and But we paint, have to find paint, out. Paint. Some people might not know what... What is this alpaca art? Is this a painting studio? Is it what? what, what is, is there it? alpacas running around in there? <laughs> well, <yeah. laughs> so what is alpaca art? So um, we are open Wednesdays through Sundays. I like that schedule. 12 to 6 p.m. Mm-hmm. And people can walk in anytime we're open. We carry ready-to-paint pottery pieces. It's called mm. bisque. And uh, they pick a piece, sit and paint. We have paints, brushes, any supplies. If they need an idea, we will try to help them. Mm-hmm. So they sit and paint, and when they're done, they leave it with us for about a week so we can fire it so all the dishes are food safe. Okay. And they, we text in about a week, they can pick it up. Mm, okay. So you probably do get a lot of parties, a lot of kids in there. And we have a, all ages, actually. You know what? Yep. I've done it. I've done it. It's fun. So say, still- if, say if a mom and her like two kids are going to stop in just like a walk-in, but how, 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 how long should they give to be there for? Average is about two hours. Okay. Mm-hmm. Depends on how creative the kids are, probably. Huh? How big the piece, Seven. how detailed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So what kind of pieces can people pick from there? You probably have. I mean, I've been in there. There's a lot of pieces. You want to take that? Sure. There's different <laughs> kinds of dishware, different kinds of mugs, uh, figurines, household items like vases and that. Uh, there's also... Seasonal items. So right now we've got. Yeah, I saw some pumpkins in there Halloween when I was last stuff, week. Yeah. Yes. And then Christmas stuff is. I just pulled out the Christmas out. trees. Oh, the retro that, trees. It's that time of the year Sorry. again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> now, where do these come from? Um, so we order a lot of it in from two, three main suppliers now. Okay. But um, 
more and more we're trying to get from, there's a place in um, Beloit, Marcellus, mm-hmm. where we go to get the bigger pieces, and the they seasonal make them out pieces. There. Yeah, okay. they make them out there. And then there's another gal, actually, who lives in Salem, who mm-hmm. pours some of our seasonal stuff, too. Oh, cool. Do you ever make any custom stuff for yourself? We used to, a okay. little bit, just a little bit, but... It's kind we, of a whole different trade. Okay. Right. You don't have the space. And, and, and probably, like, the demand. You can't be making all right, your own right. stuff. It's, it's a big job. Yeah. A dirty job. <laughs> <laughs> so what goes into picking some of these pieces? Obviously, holiday ones, you're going to go that, but what goes in with... Oh, that, you just see something like, oh, that, that shaped vase, or that, that would yeah. be good. Yeah, pretty much. And then sometimes, she, Brenna does it, but she tries to change it up a little bit and try different things out and then some of our regular customers too will be looking for items they haven't seen before. Get some ideas and something yeah, okay yeah cool cool what's the what's your most popular item that people paint um, a plate mugs are, mugs i would mugs, say plates than, are popular yeah. we have right. a, a bowl it's a chapstick bowl those are really popular okay. it comes with chapstick. we have a lot of different Ooh. gnomes especially in the oh. summertime yes. gnomes are popular Oh, yes, cool, cool. Those are popular. Mm-hmm. Okay. I still have the bowl that I did a couple of years ago. Yeah. Do you use it? I, yeah, of course I do. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> we still have one of your, uh, like a, a stove plate of a zombie oh, head. Okay. okay uh, There's an eyeball oh, hanging nice. out that my girlfriend made <laughs> at, at your place that we still use. And good. Year round. It's not just Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. Um, you know what I like the best about your shop? Because I was talking about the bowl I have, but I also have an ornament. I brought my son there when I think he was one or two. I remember that. And we, and every year when I bring out the tree, I have that there. And it has Aww. the year on it, yeah. so it's kind of like sentimental. Like, hey, you did this when you were two years old or whatever he was. Like, it, I mean, those stories, you must hear those all the time with parents yeah. bringing in children. Mm-hmm. So it makes you feel like, oh, I'm doing something right here. Well, and now we have... Parents who say, I came here when I was a kid. <laughs> yeah. So it's becoming generational. That's great. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, you're, you're doing great for the community, yeah. really. I mean, I love it. So you started out in Salem in 2007. And then how long were you there? Um, two years. Two years? Okay. Mm-hmm. And so what made you decide to move back? Um, I, we always wanted to kind of be downtown. Okay. I, had, I mentioned that earlier. Yeah. We couldn't find a place. But then we found a really, really reasonable place mm-hmm. and... We just did some of the own, our own construction decorating mm-hmm. stuff, so mm-hmm. that made it cheaper. But um, so then we, yeah, that we was found a, a spot. That was a nice spot that you guys. You had were over in the fifty-eight under fifty-eight hundred block of Sixth Avenue, right? Right next to the Orpheum. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yep, that was that was a beautiful spot. Yeah, that was a fun, was a nice spot. Yeah. And then you guys ended up being very popular, and you ended yes. up taking over the spot next to it. If right. I remember correctly, you had a bunch of tables. You you were. Yeah. You guys were rocking and yeah. rolling. It was busy. Yeah, that was that was a nice location. <laughs> what what did you guys love most about that spot? Um, it was fun being right just downtown. Right downtown. It was yeah. being a part of everything yeah. and everybody down there. But one of the major problems was you guys got even bigger and you had to find <laughs> a bigger spot. I mean that that's great. Yeah, it's because you guys were at that second location for how long? Nine years. Wow, nine, nine years. years. Yeah. That was, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Went by so fast. We wanted our own building. Right. That was that, the big yeah. Okay. Reason. Yeah, we yeah. So do you have you have a kiln there on site that we use to fire these up in? We have yeah. two kilns. Oh, okay. And how hot do those get? Um, oh, hot. Yeah. Remember I almost touched one when I was in there last week? <laughs> oh, last week, yeah. Um, uh, almost 2,000 degrees. Oh, okay. Yeah. They wow. get up to 2,300, but what we fire, our, ours are only to like almost 2,000. Okay. So. Now, how do you fire this thing up? Is it just a switch or? This one is just some but- buttons oh, okay. that you push. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't have to babysit it. We just turn yeah, it on. Yeah, it used to be that you had to babysit and open the lid at a certain oh, time and yeah. look at the cones, and but we don't have to do that. Oh, that's so. good. Right? Very nice. Technology, future, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So now you got your new spot located around the corner of Forty uh, Fourth and Seventh, right there. Um, it's a historic building. There's been a lot of many things over the years. I remember being a uh, De Bartello's Pizzeria. Oh, yeah. it was that when I was a kid. And uh, have you guys been there for a while. You're doing making a good little home there. It's really nice. Yeah. And you're looking to expand out. Now you're doing more uh, other events and birthday parties, things like that. Um, we've we've actually cut down on the birthday parties because it wasn't um, as it wasn't. It was a business decision that was more beneficial to not do as many. Oh, okay. So, but um, we have been doing more like pottery to go things where we ah. send bins with all the supplies. 
like we have fundraisers for people for big groups where they um, the families order and we send everything and they have a group event and then uh, oh, we wow. take everything back and fire and oh okay so yeah cool cool and you could go there and bring bring this up to them then instead of having right them. we just drop it off oh they can clean the mess and everything huh <laughs> yeah there you go <laughs> all right. All right. well I gotta ask how did you guys come up with the name alpaca art <laughs> I'll tell the story yeah, go ahead. Um, so <laughs> uh, Becky had said earlier how my husband Travis um, and his his family they were in town when we talked about opening and um, so my father-in-law Ron they were talking just joking around saying yeah we were talking about opening an alpaca farm <laughs> and we would make beer and we'll call it alpaca spit <laughs> and, uh, so at first we thought alpaca spit fired pottery okay. <laughs> but then we were like well we're making all our own signs right away <laughs> so let's cut that name down plus <laughs> art gave us room to branch out if we wanted to yeah do other things which in the beginning to draw people in we did a lot of different types of artwork so like like what um we did mosaics glass fusing batiking you did a drawing class drawing class wow yeah we did a lot of different stuff to get people in but you found your niche now huh yeah we don't have time for that right now (laughs) (laughs) but maybe later yeah you used to do like the ladies night kind of things or you do those events once in a while okay okay So what do you love about owning a business with your twin sister? Well, we we make up for each other's, like, or we balance each other out (laughs) really well. Yes, So she takes care of certain things, and then, sorry, so do I. (laughs) (laughs) I take care of the other things, so. Also, yeah, like she said, we balance each other out. I have certain strengths, and she has some, and Mm -hmm. I feel like, this is Brenda speaking. I would probably be more uptight if <laughs> Becky wasn't around and she's more mellow. So I'm like, oh. I might be too mellow. <laughs> so she kind of brings balance. you down a little bit. Yeah, um, but then I can, I think you I bring, bring her, her up. up a little. So you guys kind of balance yeah. her. Oh, way, perfect, yeah. perfect, very cool. So what's next for Alpaca Heart? What do you guys got planned? Just gonna kind of. It's hard for me to say right now. I have some younger kids, so that's kind of my main focus right now. Now, do you guys' kids love doing the pottery? They've been doing it since they were, you know, yeah. one and a half. So, <laughs> so soon they're like, I hate this. I don't want to do it. Well, my anymore. kids help at the shop, and they just oh, they just yeah. go at it. They're so oh, good at that's helping. Wonderful. Yeah, they're oh, great. Oh. It is nice to see. Yeah, I'm so happy that you guys are succeeding. You, you've been at it for a long time, and you, you've been a big hit since day one, pretty much. Well, thank you. Yes, thank so, Brenda, is your husband like, I told you so? <laughs> no. He's not that kind of guy. He's right, like, good, good, let's good. keep it going. <laughs> I, I do call him the big boss, though. The big boss? Yeah. <laughs> he would come in when we first started and be like, why is, why is this not cleaned up? <laughs> uh, <laughs> you should do this. You should do that. It's like, okay, we're trying. <laughs> Well, uh, I wanted to bring up, let's give a plug for Hawthorne Hollow. Tell us your connection to that. Oh, yes. So this is Becky speaking. My husband, TJ, works at Hawthorne Hollow. So I think Donnie was talking about I want to get him on the show. On yeah. <laughs> I mean, we can't now. It's the end of the season yeah. program. Well, but. next year. We, we, we're laying the groundwork down, yeah. so to they speak. Have yeah. all sorts we're of painting events. the pottery before we cook before it. Before it gets yeah. tired. Yeah. <laughs> is that what you say? You, you cook the pottery? We fire it. Fire it. Fire. Okay. Fire it. <laughs> so have you had any unusual requests for things? Yes. I'm, I'm just trying to think mm-hmm. of some. Oh, I got a request for a pregnant gnome. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> wow. Hmm. Yeah, okay. You were like, yeah, I don't know where I'm going to find it. She said that there was one that got handed down in their family, and oh, really? but now they don't have it or something. But oh. I couldn't find one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hate to watch, see your Google search after that. <laughs> <laughs> What's this woman up to? <laughs> And you guys really have a great niche because there's really not a place like you in the area. Right. I mean, alpaca yeah. art stands out. When somebody wants to paint pottery, you're number one. Well, they could be artistic and it doesn't really take a lot of skill. So they can bring in some little yeah. kids in there. The kids mm-hmm. can have some fun. Just paint it whatever they want, whatever colors they want to use. They throw on there, make it look however they want to make it look. And the girls yeah. will fire it up and come back a week later. You have a little uh, statue or a plate yep. or a mug or I'm, something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, you cater to Children, adults, like you said, everybody can come in and have a good time and, yes. and show their artistic side. And that's, that's great. great. Yeah. It's really beautiful to oh. see. I mean, 
Hey guys, this is Jason uh, coming at you after the fact. I'm looking to edit this and somehow we uh, we lost a little piece of this last couple minutes of this segment. So here's the rest of the show. Sorry. Every Friday, get on down to Union Park Tavern, 4520 8th Avenue for their famous fish fry. Voted best at Kenosha for over the last decade. But that's not all. Union Park Tavern serves up great food every day, including their 9 a.m. weekend brunches. And they offer plenty of entertainment, live music, trivia night, karaoke night, and more. Be sure to check out their fabulous beer garden. That's Union Park Tavern, 4520 8th Avenue. Does your business need a little extra attention? Do you want to grow your impact and your bottom line? Do you want to be heard? Well, let out a roar and contact Gary Schneeberger of Roar. The Roar team has over 30 years of experience creating effective and evocative content that will help you reach your goals with boldness, engagement, and inspiration. Want to learn more? Visit WeRoar.LA. Roar! In 2024, Kenosha will be electing a new mayor for the first time since 2016. Did you know that for the past 31 years, Kenosha's only had two mayors? We have new options available in 2024, and how well do you know these mayoral candidates? The primary election in Kenosha is in February, and K-Town Connects is organizing a very special event where all of Kenosha can get to know these candidates and make an informed decision of where your vote should go. Jason and I don't know much about politics, so we got someone who does. This event will be moderated by WIP's very own Pete Sarzen. Come out to the Rhodey Center for the Arts in downtown Kenosha on Sunday, February 4th at 2 p.m. Admission is a $2 suggested donation to the Rhodey Center. Know your vote, 2024. Find more details on ktownconnects.com. And we're back from that break. And what a break it was. And we're here with uh, Becky and Brenda from Alpaca Art, and we are getting ready for our Kenosha Connects. That's right, Donnie. And who's that sponsored by? Uh, our Kenosha Connects is brought to you by Wink Beauty Boutique. Sarah and her staff at Wink Beauty Boutique offers great services to make you feel and look your absolute best. Wink is located at 10909 Sheridan Road, right above the Village Supper Club, and they provide lash treatments, body wax, facials, and more. Treat yourself with a special day at Wink, Jason. Oh, yeah. Or get yourself a gift card because they make great gifts for the ones you love. Hey, for my waxes and facials, I don't go to anywhere but Wink Beauty Boutique. I agree. That's Wink Beauty Boutique, 10909 Sheridan Road. All right, ladies, you ready for these Kenosha Connects questions? Yeah, sure. All right, there's some tough ones here. Mm -hmm. First one. When was the last time you rode the streetcar? Mm. I was then at the summer. Oh, All right. Okay. Good job. Months good. Ago. All right. I'm Becky, and I've never ridden it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, that's that right. was Brenda, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so good. <laughs> yeah, it happened. We get a lot of people that say never, oh, so it's yeah. okay. You got the first one. My kids have. My husband did. Okay. Well, there okay. you go. Mm-hmm. Well, then you don't have to, right? Because they did. Yeah, yeah it counts. Right. Right. It's for the kids anyway, really. Pictures. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's for the kids. All right. Where in Kenosha would you recommend someone going on a first date? Alpaca art. Yeah, duh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, yes. That, that, would, that would be the ultimate date night. Sure, You're right. Nice. I think we the have beach a is a nice place. <laughs> <laughs> go, to, go to the beach, then go to Alpaca art. That's right down the road. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's perfect. That's yeah. perfect. <laughs> All right, ladies, what is your favorite annual Kenosha event? Hmm. I don't know if I have one now, but I used to love the Oktoberfest over at Kemper Center. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, I agree. And all. That was so fun back <laughs> in the so day. Because they had those the, the Oktoberfest girls with the Jägermeister backpacks, and they would just squirt it oh, down your throat. Yeah. That was some crazy <laughs> stuff. That was disgusting. <laughs> that was pre-COVID. Yeah. No, it's Jägermeister. It oh. sounds disgusting. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what right. about you? I second that. I thought you were going to say the uh, Peace Tree Music Festival. I've been there a couple times and it was great. That's fun, right? Yeah. I guess the German in us. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Missed the Jägermeister being (laughs) squirted. All right, ladies. Last time you put your toes in Lake Michigan. Mm. Mm. Was it Labor Day Day weekend? weekend? Oh, both of you. (laughs) We were there together. Great, great. All right, last great meal you had in Kenosha. Becky? I'll have to think about that one. Brenda? We went to Casa Capri Ooh. a few weeks ago, and we just had a great time. Okay. The atmosphere. 
It was really nice. Yeah, yeah. I, I love Casa Capri. I was there maybe a month or two ago and just got some apps. And oh, it yeah. It was amazing. The eggplant. Oh, that's what I got. Oh, it's That's so what good. I got. I got that in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in an old fashioned. It was a perfect. Oh, I got an old fashioned oh. too. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That was great. <laughs> we got to go to dinner together. <laughs> we were there together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do a double date. Huh? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Becky, you got one? I, you know, I don't. I, I mean, the, I can't really remember where I've eaten lately, but <laughs> we went to, was it Stan's? And got the fish fry on Friday, and it, it was Oh, really Stan's good, place. So, yeah, Stan's place. It's a great place there. So. I bet you they hate Big Star, don't they? <laughs> mm, maybe. They get all but Stan's place has some of the best bar food that you can ask for. I've heard their burgers are good. I haven't had one. I have. I don't eat meat, but I heard the same thing. Okay. Their cheese curds are fantastic, though. Okay. I'm on the hunt for the best cheese curd of Kenosha. Hmm. Yeah. Are you keeping notes? Yeah, I actually am keeping notes. <laughs> okay, okay. Stan's Place is top three. Oh. oh. Yeah. It's going to be an exclusive K-Town Connect segment? Yeah, as soon as I get a sponsor for it. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be number one? <laughs> <laughs> All right. What is something about Kenosha that you would uh, like new residents to know about? Alpac Art down on 44th and 7th. <laughs> That's one. <laughs> Well, if there's a like outdoors. There's a lot of if you're looking for outdoors. There's a lot to offer. Like, the sand dunes are nice. Mm-hmm. And, like, Porio Park, and Pets Park, yeah, and Hawthorne Hollow, of course. Yeah, but yeah. There's, there's a, a lot of nice there's things. a lot of stuff to do outside trails yeah. and just yeah. Yeah, you just sometimes you gotta look for it. Right, they're all over the place. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Brenda, you got anything to add? I can't think of anything to add. All right, girls. Here's a tough one. <laughs> What now closed Kenosha business do you wish you could bring back? Well, just what comes to mind. Cooler near the lake was a nice little oh, place. Oh, I love that place. Like that place. With bar. those couches in there. Yeah, I mean, that was carpet. just so like, <laughs> yeah, it was just kind of like almost ahead of its time, but it wasn't. But it was such a great atmosphere there. Almost a 50s there. feel, too, at the yeah. same time. Yeah, it was, it was nice. I liked it. Yeah. I think the toy store. Because oh, it was just yeah. kind yeah. of fun down there. It was nice there. to have that downtown. Yeah. I was just talking to somebody about that, like, I was looking for a base. I just wanted to buy a baseball. And I, I, like, I need it because I'm going to a game. I need this baseball. I don't know where to go. I ended up buying one at Walgreens. If there was a toy store downtown, I could have just went there. You had them at Walgreens? One, they had one. One. It was one there. We didn't even throw that baseball around. I know. I bought it for nothing. We went to the game. I wanted to play catch. We didn't use it. Play it against sports. Has a I, you know, I, didn't, I, oh, yeah. I don't know why I didn't think about that. I could have went there. Uh-huh. I yeah. found some kids in the park and just beat them up and took one. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> they would have beaten me up. Yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> All right, favorite pizza place in Kenosha? I know we're at Luigi's. You don't have to say it, but I mean, it changes all the time. So what is your favorite pizza place this week? <laughs> I know you like pizza. <laughs> <laughs> um, besides Luigi's. <laughs> um, I live by Durango's, and I really like their pizza. Mm, yes. But Sales. I oh. love sales pizza. Mm. Yeah. So. I've heard a lot of good things about yeah, sales. Yeah, they're really mm. good. How it's about like, you? Oh. Yeah. I, I don't know. There are a lot of good ones around. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I do like the stuffed one over at Durango's, but we live there too, so we go. <laughs> I mean, it's like every time you order pizza, you're like, where am I going to get it? There's just so many great options yeah. in this town. It's crazy. Yeah. And then if you get a bad pizza, some you're like, no, I'll try it again in a few weeks, and then it's just like, okay, there we go. It's good again. <laughs> right. You know? right. And if you go to a different town and you can't find a good pizza because right. you're used to all the yeah, good ones yeah, here. Yeah. <laughs> well, there should be pizza places everywhere. Whether or not, what's going on? <laughs> all right, girls. In which Kenosha bar do you think you spent the most money at? Brenda? Um, it's been a while since I was a bar person. Jeez, yeah. um, when I was real young, we went to Fex a lot. Ah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Becky? I can't think. I, I did a lot of patios and, jeez, um, I can't even remember now what the name of it is. The one around the corner. <laughs> oh, the port? The port. Ah, the port. <laughs> yes. They'd be so yes. disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you're family ladies, saying. business owners now, so you got have to put that stuff aside now. Yeah, so. right. Yeah, good. Boy, the amount of people that say patios in the port that we asked this question to, they must, Terry and Craig must be rolling in the money, man. <laughs> but I was at all the bars for a long time. <laughs> and then our last one, the big Kenosha debate, Big Star or The Spot? Ooh. I'm a big star person. Same here. Okay, yeah. both agree on Yeah. yeah. All right. hmm. Good, good. 
All right, that was our Kenosha Connects, and that was brought to you by Wink Beauty Boutique. Wink Beauty Boutique. I love Wink, and I love Sarah. Congratulations on getting married, by the way, Sarah. She finally got married, that guy, huh? About mm-hmm. time. Yeah. Good for them. Yeah, happy for them. Yeah. Congratulations, and yeah. thanks for being a sponsor of the Kid Talk Next podcast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And what time is it now, Donnie? Ding, ding, ding. It's trivia time. And Let's. trivia is brought to you by the Lottery Machine. They're located at 725 50th Street, and they can customize almost anything. Gifts, uniforms, school apparel, office attire, accessories. You name it, they can do it. Also, check out their online novelty store at LetteryMachine.com as they have some ready-to-go designs just for you and you and you and you. I think they also have El Pack Art merchandise there as well. Wow, wow. There so you can go, go on and get a Kate Talk shirt and an El Pack Art uh, shirt. What a perfect combination, <laughs> right? Yeah, sounds great. <laughs> All right, so we got some uh, basic trivia today. We're uh, playing a game called uh, Smart Ass. Ooh. And we're going to find out if you're a smart ass or a dumbass. You two girls will play against Donnie. Because <laughs> I just broke my headphones. Again. <laughs> At it. So your choice are going to be. Who am I? Where am I? Or what am I? And you'll just you'll pick your own category. And I'll ask you a few questions. You just say who or what or where it is. So Donnie will go first. Kind of show you how it's played. Who? So you're gonna pick who, huh, Donnie? Mm-hmm. Give it to me. I am an animated movie character. I am feared by all people in the land. I have a heart of gold. Who am I? Garfield. No. Shrek. I've never even seen a Shrek movie. You haven't seen a Shrek movie? No, my Jeez. son's not into it. All right, girls. Dang it. Okay. I was close with Garfield, though, right? Who, what, or where? What? what? Oh, is it both of us? Yeah, you're both okay. together. You're both sure. against what? me. What? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. What am I? Okay. I am a letter of the English alphabet. I'm the first letter on of a face card in a deck of cards. I am a consonant. I have a hook. I can be a man's name or a type of bird. What letter am I? J. Hey, look at that. It's stereo. (laughs) They're up one nothing. I didn't even know that one. Donnie? (laughs) Who, where, or what? What? I'm getting nervous. You should be. (laughs) Donnie, I am a sport or a game? Baseball. Males and females of all ages play me. Softball. My game requires a ball. (laughs) Softball. My professional game has become more colorful. I am played by two or four players. What am I? Foosball. Tennis. Oh, I should have given it more thought. Uh, Pickleball? (laughs) Yeah. That's that's the new craze, There's no tennis courts around here anymore. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, it's all pickleball. All right, girls, for the win, who, what, or where? Where? I am a building in North America. George Washington never slept here. I'm a building with 132 rooms. I'm associated with an oval. White is my favorite color. Where am I? Washington, D.C. I'm a building in North America. Oh, well, you said where am I? Okay. A little White more House? specific. It's yes. the White House in, in there Washington, There we go. All right. All right. <laughs> they get double points. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well done, ladies. And you have won a t- two T-shirts from... Ooh. The Letter Machine, K Talk Next t shirts. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, thank you very much, The Letter Machine, for getting those to us. Yes, can't wait to see you guys wearing those out on the town for promoting sure. the K Talk Next Thanks podcast. for letting us win, Don. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <gonna> so nice. <laughs> I did beat the mayor once, so. <laughs> so, that's Al Pack Art, located at 4326 7th Avenue, right there on the corner. You can give them a call at 262 657 4444. Their website is alpacapottery.com and find them on Facebook and Instagram. Yeah, get some grab and go pottery or just go in there with your family or your adult friends and paint the way. Do you take appointments? Um, We do recommend on the weekends and the winter reservations, but it's just more likely you'll sit sooner. Okay. Ah, okay. 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 So wintertime is more of your busier time because that's more of an indoor activity then, huh? Um, it's just concentrated on the weekends. Okay. In the summer, it's spread out more. Ah, uh, okay. okay. Gotcha, <clears throat> yeah. gotcha. Okay, Plus, I'm going to have to bring my son in there. We'll get a couple more ornaments. I'm going to have him paint oh. and give it to my grandma and my mom for Christmas. Right. Oh, so it makes great gifts. Yeah, Definitely. it really does. It's it's the time to give. Great, great. 
and go into alpaca. So get on down there and create some art. Yes. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Um, Also, look for this episode and other episodes of the Kate Tal Connects podcast on Spectrum Channel 14 in the Kenosha Community Media streaming channel and the Roku box every Wednesday at 11 a.m. and Sunday at 5 p.m. Also, don't forget, you guys, to follow the K-Town Connects podcast on all social media outlets, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. Drop us a review on Facebook or on your favorite podcast provider and help us spread the word about the hottest podcast in town. And what podcast is that, Jason? The Art Space Podcast. Well, Jake and Shelby do do a great job on that. But we're talking <laughs> about said the, <laughs> We're talking about the K-Town Connects podcast. <laughs> All right, and we also like to thank our Patreon subscriber of the week, and that is Beth Derry. Ah, the lovely Beth Derry. Thank you so much thank for your support, you so much, Beth. Beth. We appreciate we love you. you and we all love of our you. Patreon subscribers. Mm-hmm. And we also like to thank all of our sponsors, including Lucci's Grandview, Frank's Diner, Wink Beauty Boutique, Hayden Cheese, Shannon Franklin Remax Realtor, Union Park Tavern, Roar, We Roar. LA. Look up that website. Aaron Hunzinger of AH Did It, Public Craft Brewing Company, and Luigi's Pizza Kitchen. Uh, thank you, sponsors, so much for that. <laughs> Jason, what an episode it was. Yeah, it was um, an amazing episode. We learned a lot. Uh, oh, you know what? I forgot to ask you guys this question. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, you guys are going to high school. You, you know, you guys are dating. You ever do the old date swap because you're twins? <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, you did. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> right. One time I was with my sister. Oh, so this is Becky talking. <laughs> and we went to my sister's, Brenda's boyfriend's house. And we were like, well, how about I go up to the door and see if he knows it's me or who it is. <laughs> but, the, but the brother answered the door and he was like, where's your sister at? Like, so he was asking. Oh, he knew right he away. Thought, well, he thought you, it was you and he was, oh, he asking, was asking about, about you. Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> that was the only time, though. Huh. I thought that story was going to get real crazy. No, it didn't like, get he ended up weird. sleeping with her boyfriend, <laughs> and he thought it was you, and all that. <laughs> well, okay. yeah. You guys should play that. You should have played it up more. It would have been yeah. fun. No. Okay. That, okay, that was my one twin still question to ask. You got, you got your one. Yeah, I got it. Right. Which will probably be edited out. But. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us. We appreciate Alpaca Art, 4326 7th Avenue. Jason, what are you pointing at me? What are we doing here? <laughs> we are connecting Kenosha. Thanks, guys.